There is a new game that just came out that has been in development for quite some time. And it's a battle royale. Talking about Population One. Population One is a new battle royale game that is quite different, built for the ground up for VR, but also take many cues of other battle royales. In this game, you once again have the same troops as all battle royales. You land on this, like I'm pretty sure it's like an island, and you scavenge around for weapons as fast as possible, try to be the last one surviving. What makes this unique is that it's VR, which means that you don't have an analog stick to aim with. You don't have a mouse and keyboard to get that perfect, easy to do aim. No, by this being in VR, it's your entire body involved. I can hide behind cover and manually look up when I'm looking down the iron sights, that is what I'm looking at. It's not like it's on a flat screen. It's hard to describe. VR is one of those things where it's really hard to describe unless you're in VR. It has the same ratio, such as different color quality and weapons, different rarities, different powers, but everything you see in the game, you can climb. Oh, I see that building there. Climb it. And then you can literally jump off and glide at any time, anywhere climbing on anything, gliding off of anything, and building. Yeah, what, wait? I know that you're gonna be like, oh no, it's a ripoff of a Fortnite. Yes, I can see you making that clear assumption. I mean, it really does take some cues from Fortnite, but in a good way. Instead of you mining resources, you could find resources everywhere. And it's a quick snap build, not all that editing and so on. Yes, there's building in the game but it's not 100% necessary. You don't have to build. There are people who are getting more adjusted and making elaborate buildings and basically building a hotel with 5G in an instant, but don't worry. Again, these are far and few and you don't have that Fortnite vibes. This is its own thing. The more emphasis is look up because people will be climbing and gliding in the middle of a firefight and next thing you know another team glides in and now you're in the middle of a two-way firefight. This game is amazing in its own unique way. The developers have already talked about how they're gonna make their own battle passes, up, get more and more content. They're gonna keep the content coming. They want the gaming community to grow. If you are into battle royales and this is something that you're interested in, is it worth it? Is it worth this price tag? Because most battle royals, as we know, are free. This one right here, you do have to pay for. My initial thoughts on this, this is what we've been waiting for. As a Quest user, we don't have too many AAA gaming experiences. Most of the experiences are more, I would say, VR experiences. This game is the first game where it's like, wow, this is actually something that I, I want to go home and grind on and level up, keep playing and keep unlocking more stuff. This is one of the best VR games that's out right now. It is very unique. It is very done right. Is it perfect? No. It does have some bugs and glitches, even after its long beta test. But its pros heavily outweigh the cons. If this is something you're interested in, then yes, I highly suggest it. On the Quest, this is easily one of the top five most recommendable games if you're into it.